everybody, you know who this is. Everyone knows me as Ghostface, but some have been calling me Ghost Boy, which I don't like. I just figured I wanted to make a video ever since I was fired recently from the channel. And for some time I've been so mad at Mr. Riker, I just wish he would change his mind and let me stay on the channel, but I'll get to that in just a moment. But first, let me explain some more about myself. Some of you have been wondering oh, where I come from. Well, heck, you know, I'm from Hollywood, actually. And Ghostface is not really my name. And I do have a name. My real name is Clyde. Clyde Ghostman. It, you know, it's Ghostman, not Ghostman. It's Ghostman. There's no T in the last name. And I've been famous for the Scream movies for many years. But after since uh, last year's uh, release of Scream 4, which is a real disappointment in a box office bomb, it went kind of downhill for me after many years of gracing the big screen as a scary character. Well, anyway, I lost my agent at the time last year. My agent abandoned me, so there wasn't anything coming in for me. And then a month later, I fired my manager because my manager is about ready to steal some money from me. And now, my manager doesn't have any access to my money anymore. So for some time, I was floating around Hollywood, and I just didn't like where I was at. So I decided to come up north. So it was about a few months later. And that's when I stumbled upon uh, Mr. Steve Riker and his channel. So one day I sent an email out to him asking if I could come on his channel. Well, he said sure. It was almost Halloween at the time, so I was only to be on his channel just for Halloween and I was going to leave. But then after my first video with him on the channel, he asked me to stay, so I did stay. And I stayed for a period of time. Uh, did a vlog for Halloween, which was with me, and then also with my association with Woodrow after he kept hitting me in the head many times just trying to tell me to behave myself. But anyway, that's a different story. So everything went good. So I was on his channel, um, although I was being a little more mischievous at the time and misbehaving. But then I had my brief stead in jail the night, the day after Halloween when me and my buddies we were arrested for breaking into a club. But later on, the owner of the club decided not to press charges, so we were all released and we had to pay a fine. That was it. But quite frankly, I didn't like jail because jail just re was a real bad experience. And I deny that I was even scared in jail. Somebody scared me in jail. And I have to admit, yes, I was scared. I got scared by somebody. So a week after that incident, I didn't think about it until that day when Riker wasn't home, I decided to do a, a video featuring me in a drunken state. And that was when I was caught, after when the video was uploaded, of drinking in his home. Well, I did get punished, and I was not going to be on camera for at least a week. So he suspended me from the channel after breaking the rules. Until I was able to come back on the channel a week later, I was... I told everyone I learned my lesson well and I never would do it again. So everything went okay afterwards until it was around Christmas time that I was doing a video response to someone else's channel. And at the end I started acting up and I was yanked off camera, just about. And I got so mad that I decided to get drunk again. Only I did it not here at the house, but somewhere else. I had a camera with me and then I had the video uploaded. Well, that really brought an uproar to not only Riker, but other people got mad at me as well, including Keen Siggy. Because I went against my word saying I'd never go back to drinking. Well, I did. And then I ran away. And I told everyone I was going to be coming back for some time. And I decided to make 
an undisclosed location in my home for the last few months. And I did. So after that, I just had bits and pieces of video work coming in, just try to tease people a little bit if I was still around and if they didn't care about me until finally I decided to go back on camera and I was drunk as usual. Well, at the time I didn't care. I didn't care what people say about me or anything like that. I just said, just leave me be. I would just rather be drunk. Well, I remember about a couple months back I made a video response to uh, Boston Chicky's video about she was given spankings and I admit I wanted a spanking but although I didn't sound like I was being bad and naughty I just sounded a little more well you know something I wouldn't want to say on YouTube because I know it was not very appropriate but indeed I got a spanking alright but Boston didn't give me didn't give me a spanking it was Woodrow and I ended up in intensive care for three weeks not drinking but high on meds but by the way um, it wasn't even fun being on meds meds are even worse than drinking so it just made you get so high so I was in there three weeks and people thought I might have stopped drinking afterwards but no I went back to drinking again and then I had some people start calling me ghost boy and I didn't want that the only person who called me Ghost Boy was Boston Chicky. That was kind of like uh, her her nickname for me. Well, like a almost like a pet nickname for me. I didn't mind that. But other people, I was really upset. They kept calling me Ghost Boy, and I was so angry that I continued drinking. But then afterwards, I went on strike. Although my strike was only but for about a day and a half, and then I asked for my demands to be met. My demands were never met, and I was told by Riker to get back to work on videos, because I was behind. And I was asked if I quit drinking, if I start behaving myself more, and that Woodrow wouldn't chase me around, then I would be okay. Well, I was okay all right. I did okay for a while. But after that, things kind of got worse. It was probably even worse after and I got that spanking from Woodrow. That was a smack it was heard across the world. My drinking got worse. And I came home a few weeks later, after being gone for for a few months, and I noticed that Woodrow was home after he was in a depressive state after being kidnapped by homeless Henry. Well, my drinking got worse. I corrupted Woodrow. I was just trying to cheer him up and trying to get him out of his doldrums and out of his depressive state, which I was succeeding very well. Well, that was when I got caught drinking again in Riker's home, and that was like the third and final time. And that was when he informed me a few days after that incident that he was going to fire me from the channel. I got mad at Riker for firing me. He didn't have any right to do so. But then I finally realized from several other people, including King Siggy, they told me that Riker had every right to fire me because he owns the channel. He has a reputation to keep. Well, that I didn't realize. So, after some heavy thinking, I was still mad for a while, and I realized that I did have a, I did make some mistakes, and I do have a problem. And I just wanted to say to all of you, I should have listened to each and every one of you, because I didn't know that all of you were looking out after me, especially for you, King Siggy. And I didn't mean to hurt you, and I didn't mean to uh, not listen to you at all. This was my fault, and I'm sorry for offending you. But I feel sorry for myself for doing the stupid things I did.
but I do admit that I do have a problem and I have to get help for these right away. So I just want everybody to know that I accept full blame for my problems, for my what my drinking have caused. And I didn't mean to offend anyone when I was in a drunken state. But I just want to let everybody know that all of you are the best. I will never will forget the time I had on the channel. But at times like these, we all have to move on, and I have to move on as well. So, I just want to say something to Riker. If you have any consideration in your heart that you'll ever let me come back working for your channel, I promise I will behave myself, and that I will never drink again. And I'm sorry that I ever offended you. I take full responsibility for the problems I caused. And I want you to know that. I mean, I didn't mean to corrupt Woodrow either. I was just trying to help. And for those of you who've been very supportive, who've really liked my videos and on this channel, I just want to say thanks. And that I will miss all of you on this channel. But I'll be back. I don't know where I'll end up next, but who knows. This won't be the last of this will never be the last of me you'll see. But I'll still I'll be around and I'll be back. I'll be back better than ever. Well till then everybody, you take good care of yourselves. Stay positive. And I'll see you soon. Until then I have to go. Bye everybody. You take care.